Well, today we have a topic that we absolutely cannot talk about enough, spotting fake dating profiles, which I guess is becoming more and more prevalent now with uh, AI. so much for joining us again on Second Act TV. I want to welcome back Sandy Weiner, the relationship expert, dating coach, founder of Last First Date and author of Choice Points in Dating. Thanks, Sandy, for being here again. So good to be back. Well, today we have a topic that we absolutely cannot talk about enough, especially, you know, for what we do, you and I, we we promote online dating a lot, spotting fake dating profiles, which I guess is becoming more and more prevalent now with uh, AI. For sure. I, I mean, the more you can identify them, the more you can just move on. And mm -hmm. I think that it was one of the most important things I learned when I first started dating online. I mean, it's scary when you've never dated online. Mm -hmm. It's really scary to be out there and think that everybody has, you know, access to you and maybe they're going to take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. But even if you've been dating for a long time, these people are getting better and better, especially mm -hmm. with AI. Well, and, and I think... You know, I, I I tend to have a very simplistic view of this. It's like, if anybody asks you for money, that's it, you're done. You know, it's like, how do you not spot this? How do you not see the signs? And a lot of intelligent people, including Jonathan Noble, I've had him on the show a lot. He's an attorney uh, who just tells me, he goes, Silka, these women that fall for this, they're they're smart. They're successful. They're this, it, it's not that simple. So let's let, let's really dive into that. You know, how to recognize this and not not fall for it. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I fell for it for briefly in the beginning of the whole dating journey after my divorce. There was a guy who was really good looking, um, <laughs> reached out to me. He lived kind of far away, mm -hmm. but his story was not lining up. He mm -hmm. called me very late at night. I mean, this is way before I had do not disturb on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, what's this guy doing? Call like he's a mm -hmm. successful businessman, supposedly widowed, you know, yeah. car crash. Like now I recognize all these things. Right. But in those days, I, I didn't, I didn't know how, like I felt something was off, but I couldn't figure out how to mm -hmm. identify it. I, I want to uh, add as well, you know, I said this, so many women fall for this. This happens to men too. Uh, it, I think it happens to women more. So we don't want to scare you off from online dating. We want you to be aware of some of the stuff which can be easily spotted if, if you know to look for it and if you're willing willing to see the red flags. And, and incidentally, the reason that this is so important for our demographic is because we are, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're like the number one demographic that's targeted for this. It is typically older people, and widow. That's another uh, another really key thing to, to, to be aware of. So anyway, let's get into seven some of the seven concrete uh, ways to identify a fake profile. You have here number one photos. Yeah. So the profile that only has one photo is a big warning sign, mm -hmm. or the photos look too good to be true. Like you know, sometimes they they even have. Um, They've left on the the stamp from the company that they stole them from, like Shutterstock. Yeah, you know, because they're stock model photos, right? Or there are multiple profiles with the same photos. Like sometimes you'll come across that. I even found once a photo of a man that I knew, um, who's a dating coach, and he it was obviously a fake. Um, it was somebody who stole his profile. So. These are all signs with the photos that this is probably a fake. Mm -hmm. So you don't even go there. You don't even go there. It's, 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 it's interesting what, what you say. I, uh, and this isn't just dating size. I mean, I, on a regular basis on Facebook, I get friend requests from these very nice looking men, obviously professional photography, obviously stock photo. I can recognize this now. Uh, and it's always, it's always the same thing. They're either in the military or they're a doctor or a doctor in the military, and they're widowed. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if you see any of that, just just don't even go there. You know. Yeah, yeah. 
And they also work on an oil rig. Yes. That's another big yes. one. <laughs> <laughs> the oil rig. And and when I say, uh, you know, why are they on the oil rig is because that's a, a, an excuse not to be able to call you live or video chat. That's a key thing here. So here's number two, content of the profile. How, how exactly? What do you mean there? Give us some examples. Yeah. So what they write is usually very generic. And once you recognize one of these, it is so common. It's almost like cut and paste. Mm -hmm. the, the whole sob story about the widowed, you know, my wife died in a car crash and my children have uh, all these terrible diseases or I need money for a operation and I'll pay you back right away. <laughs> You know, like that kind of thing, but um, grammatic, lots of grammatical errors. I mean, you know, regular people make errors. That's mm -hmm. common. It's mm -hmm. not a red flag if you misspell a few things, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't even make sense at all. Like right. you look at the content, you're like, what is this? And my, my rule of thumb is if you have to think too hard, just don't even go there. Yeah. Like next. <laughs> Yeah, I think AI might be making that easier now because the, you, you had these translation programs, you know, because a lot of this happened, it's out of Nigeria. And that's, I mean, that's just, just a fact. And there's a lot of translation programs that will take, you know, different languages and will translate. Of course, it's never done very well. And that's, that's a huge sign. But AI now, I think, can probably improve that significantly, which is another reason we need to be aware of a lot of these other signs, right? Yeah. And speaking of AI, which that's a good point, but the mm -hmm. other part of AI is where they could be written too well. It doesn't sound like any human has ever written this. So it's like okay. some kind of literary piece that you would put into a magazine. It's like, you know, filled with flowery words that nobody uses. And it doesn't have to necessarily be somebody fake. It could just be somebody using chat GPT to write their yeah. profile. And, you know, it's like, or a bad dating coach you hired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. A terrible dating coach. Terrible dating coach. So work with me. I don't do yeah. that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The details uh, that leads into number three, inconsistent information. Like what? Yeah. So people can be, they can make mistakes within the profile. Their age is one thing and then they, then it's inconsistent. Um, they talk about the year they graduated college oh. and it doesn't line okay. up with how old they are or they say there's some place like the guy who I was in contact with um, very briefly, mm -hmm. he said he was in Texas and his son lived down the road and then he was in another state. His story mm -hmm. kept changing. Kept changing. Yeah. So pay attention to that. Like a person may come across great in the beginning and you don't pick up these signs, but as soon as you start engaging and especially in the messaging, even if their profile looks good, the mm -hmm. messaging is going to tell you a ton it's yeah. going to tell you a ton. Yeah. Well, and part of that, I suspect, is because you're not the only one they're talking to. I mean, this is their job. <laughs> they yeah. sit here to engage as many women as they possibly can to see who who bites. And yeah, you forget maybe what you told one or the, you know, the other. And, and yeah, so, the, so looking for that sort of inconsistency could be a huge, huge sign if you're going down that road. And that's another thing, Sandy, is that you mentioned earlier, I think off camera, that these things go on for months sometimes before they'll actually ask you for money. But that's, I think, also because they're in contact with, I mean, they, they have a pipeline, like somebody in sales. <laughs> so it, it can go that long. And, and that's, I think, difficult sometimes to, to process. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew a woman who totally fell in love with a guy that she met through Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, he messaged her said all these lovely things so they know all the right words to get you pulled in and she was convinced he was real mm -hmm. and she never did a video chat and I kept saying to her you're not you're not this is not right and I don't trust this person and she kept telling me I was wrong until he was out of the country on an oil rig asking for money uh, you know and I'll pay you right back and I just need this because my computer broke and I need a new computer and I need you know and it was just yeah. oh man yeah. 
But by then she was so invested emotionally and it was really hard. Well, and again, the, the key thing is, is that video chat. If they cannot get on a video chat, which is really one of the key ways to prove up a real person or what they look like. Well, and then language, you say. The profile uses scripts or wording like babe, angel, darling. Well, that just turns me off when they do that. But, <laughs> but that's a, a scammer signal too. I guess I've never engaged with a scammer. Yeah. So some fake profiles use a lot of over the top words. They will, I'm looking for my angel. You're such a darling. Um, they mix pronouns. So you're all jumbled up again, mm -hmm. like probably Google translate. Another thing with the language is they can use all caps. You'll see like, I am a man of God. God will be in all caps. You know, I'm loyal and I'm mm -hmm. looking for truth and Every oh, all God. those qualities that they think women are looking for, yeah, they'll put those in caps. And I'm sure men get these too, but they're, they're that's the qualities they want in a partner, and they have these qualities, and they're just people of honor. And you know, they think that using all caps is gonna really pull somebody in. No, that yeah, well, again, huge sign. So if you're seeing that, just move on. Just just move on. The, the number five here, moving on from language, words in the bio that the profile tries to sell you a dream. Explain that to us. Yeah, like, oh, do you want to live on a yacht? Do you want to travel the world with me? Do you want to live in two homes? Do you want to do all these amazing things? So it's it's selling you a dream. And mm -hmm. for some people that can totally suck them into this dream life. Yeah. Well, and again, for a man uh, that popped in my head, I saw some documentary on that or a news story or something, but the women, women, you know, scammer women will pose and, and, you know, suck older men in, especially, well, like with, with us older women uh, to a, you know, this dream life with this woman that they couldn't otherwise get. And a lot of money has gone south on stuff like that too. So I do want to keep reiterating that as well. It's that men are just as much target of this as, as, as women are. Location, the profile says the person is in another country. I guess we, we, we've talked about this a lot, yeah. but yeah, let, let's reemphasize that again. Yeah. So they're living someplace else that's, they, they may say it's temporary, but mm -hmm. you need to check that out. So if everything mm -hmm. else lines up and they just say, you know, I'm temporarily overseas because I'm working on an oil rig or I'm in the armed services, uh, look, they could be legitimately in the mm -hmm. armed services or on an oil rig, but generally mm -hmm. speaking, not. And yeah. so look at the location, you know, because profiles, especially the apps, they, they show the location of a person. So That's if they say they're in Connecticut and they're showing up in Lebanon, it's not the same thing, not right? Same thing. And so you can't really hide this stuff anymore, uh, but definitely look and see where they really are, you know, because a lot of people will not say that they're somewhere else, even when they're not fake, if they, they act like they live nearby and then you read more and it says, I'm in San Francisco doing mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. but they act like they live in New York City, yeah. where do you really live? And again, all these these flags, they're they're so easy to see if if you are aware of you know what they are and what to look for. And it's mm -hmm. a matter of of just not getting sucked in and 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 well and be willing, be willing to see it. And and again, I, I totally get it. I mean, this is a huge, huge amount of uh, money that goes to romance, romance scams. Well, then, and finally, just basically I have a miscellaneous column here where we threw a, a couple of different things in. You know, personal information wants to leave dating for a uh, dating platform. Let, let, let's talk about that. How do you wrap this up? Yeah. So some of the stuff we talked about already, if somebody asks mm -hmm. you for personal information too quickly, if they yeah. want to leave the dating platform right away and go to WhatsApp or, or your email, mm -hmm. if they can't talk on the phone or video chat, the huge red flag, if mm -hmm. they can't ever meet in person, I mean, people stay on these conversations for months and never have a plan to meet. I mean, you should be meeting somebody within a week, right? Ideally, like it shouldn't take that long. Somebody right. is is just moving too fast. You know, just mm -hmm. pay attention. Don't let somebody do all these things and fall for it. You know, recognize them as red flags. 
Yeah. Well, let me follow that up though. And, and ask you, cause we've talked about this a lot too, that you need, you want to get off the app as soon as possible and do start texting and calling where, where's the fine line there. If you have a connection. So mm-hmm. I say after a few texts, see if there's a connection, see if you're mm-hmm. having like an intelligent conversation where you a person's actually answering your questions, asking you questions. Mm-hmm. You seem to have a lot in common. That's mm-hmm. very different from, I think you're the most amazing person in the world and let's get off this app and, and talk on WhatsApp. Yep. They're asking you for your private phone number that you're not ready to give out right. yet and you, you haven't made a connection. So yep. definitely yep. if you've made a connection, get off the app. The app is just to connect you, but pay attention to the signs and don't get off the app for the wrong person. Well, again, a very, very important discussion, especially, you know, as I said in the beginning for for both of us who we do promote online dating because so many people have found love and marriage and whatever it is you're looking for, include, you know, including me. I'm in a 12 year relationship that started online. So it, it, it really is about knowing how to use it versus just being, you know, afraid of it, which is a lot of people, a lot of people are and scammers. Well, they're, they're everywhere, everywhere. And social media might actually be one of the worst. So Sandy, how would you, how would you wrap this up? Anything I didn't ask or anything else you want to point out? If you're confused, move on. (laughs) If Mm -hmm. you, if you sense something, move on. There's plenty of people online and you don't need to sit and do research and find out what is that, you know, so many people Google before meeting. And Mm -hmm. I feel like if you already are not, not trusting somebody, Mm -hmm. then just don't meet them. Just meet people who feel good to you. There's Mm -hmm. lots of people in the world. And again, like you said, don't be afraid to date online. Knowledge is power. It is so important to arm yourself with as much knowledge as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I teach, I teach whole courses on, online dating for that reason, because people don't know how to write profiles. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to present themselves and there are scammers everywhere. You know, Mm -hmm. there's people will call you on the phone and ask you for money. Do you give them money? No, you hang up the phone usually. I mean, some people are more susceptible to that than others, but like pay attention and, and don't, don't fall for these people and keep yourself safe. Well, Sandy, thank you again for your time. Always appreciate it. And you always have exciting things going on, new courses, new books. We will have all that information in the show notes. You can contact Sandy directly on her website. That link is below as well. And I look forward to having another conversation soon on Second Act TV. 